Hello, I'm Ollie Pyle. I'm a landscape painter and today I want to show you how to get started with watercolour. Watercolour is the medium that I use for all my paintings and it's challenging but it's great fun and it's the perfect medium to use, I think, to paint landscapes and particular for me, British landscapes. Now, one of the biggest problems when you start a new hobby funnily enough, is actually getting started. And part of the reason for that is there's often a bewildering amount of information available and often long lists of equipment that you need. But I want to show you how to keep it simple. So I'm going to show you how to find some basic kit that's really good quality, but isn't going to break the bank either, because you don't want to spend a lot of money straight up and then find that maybe this isn't for you. Okay, so paint. Paint comes in either tubes, and I use tubes um, because they give me lots of liquid paint nice and quickly, or they come in pans. I would start off with pans, and in fact I started off with pans many years ago, because you can control the amount of paint you're getting on your brush, which is good when you're learning how to mix colours, and a set like this is absolutely perfect. Um, there's, it looks like there's a few colours, but that's more than enough to mix everything that you need to paint landscapes. This set's great. You get full pans, you get a little palette. It's perfect. Or you can get uh, nice uh, metal tins that have got, this one's got a 24 half pans in it. Plenty of colours there. And this is a nice travel set. Again, 24 half pans, nice mixing area a little removable palette that you can clean. Really good as well. These are all from De La Rowney's Aquafine range and the paints are really, really good quality, but they are reasonably priced and I think it's a brilliant place to start. Next, brushes. They come in hundreds of different shapes and sizes, but that's all you need to get started. Size 10, size six, and a number two rigger brush. Perfect. This is a good little set as well. It comes with some flat brushes. You've got another round brush and another rigger in there. That's all you need. They're great quality brushes. You don't need anything else to get started. So paper. Um, this is uh, a smooth surface paper by De La Rowney. Again, it's in the Aquafine range. This is a textured surface. And I would say start off with the textured surface. It just helps to control the paint a little bit more, helps it move around and allows you also to get a, a wider variety of brush strokes. You can buy it in spiral bound pads like that. You can buy it in gummed blocks that are glued around the edge. These are great as well. It's excellent quality paper. And the key is when you're starting is to get quite a lot of paper because the more you practice, the quicker you're gonna advance your skills. Right, I'm gonna do a quick painting with these paints, this paper, these brushes, and you'll see that you can make paintings very easily with Simple, good quality kit. So I'm just going to wet the paper first of all because that'll just it'll just help everything run together. I'll put the colours on. We call this wet into wet. So while the paper's wet, I'm going to drop the colours in. What I want is uh, sunlight catching a cloud, the edge of a cloud here, putting things roughly where I think they ought to be. Into the back of that, I'll put this this mucky grey colour. And that can be a shadow, if you like, on the back of the cloud. And as you can see, I'm letting all these, all these colours run together. And they're great, these Aquafine colours. They're really bright. They merge together nicely. And then let's have some blue in the corner here. And I'm putting all this in with the, uh, with the number 10 brush that I showed you earlier. And I'm just going to let all that run together and that'll be perfect for the sky. And then I'm going to keep coming down over the top of these hills here, brighter colour in the middle. And then we just bring that all the way down to the bottom of the paper. As you can see, it's getting a little bit wet, a little bit out of control. That's OK. I'll soak up the excess paint. And then I'm just going to mix up a little bit of burnt sienna here and drop that in while this is all still wet, roughly where this, this area of mud flat or, or riverbank is. 
I'll come back and tidy this up later, but that's fine. I've got the initial wash down, all the colors really where I want them to be. And we're just gonna let that dry. Okay, so let's put some distant hills in and keep them nice and blue, make them look as if they really are in the distance. I've got a, a little church on the top of the hill there that I think is just a nice little feature to have. And then I'm just going to change up the colour, make it a little bit warmer here as if the sun's catching this side of the hills. That's just a nice little bit of variety. And then I'm going to paint the side of the boat here. And I'm still, I'm still using my number 10 brush for this because I want to uh, paint as quickly as I can in big broad washes. I don't want to be fiddling around with a small brush. Vary the colour, mix some, mix some burnt sienna into this little area here of the shore, of the estuary bank. Well, let's just finish up with a few darks. I'm going to put um, a dark side to the boat here. I just want to feel as though the sun's catching that right hand side of it. We're sort of looking into the sun and it's shining that direction. And then we'll put suggestion of these little boats in the bay here as you can see i've switched to my number six brush just gives me a little bit more control over these fine marks a little bit of dry brush there add some texture that just suggests stones and general muck that you find on a on a river bank Let's put a few masts in and pop this mooring buoy on the edge there. Another one just out in the estuary there. And that's it. So there you are, the simplest of watercolours. It's not going to win any awards. I'm not going to send it to any of uh, my galleries. But it only took me five or six minutes and it just shows you that you can make a decent watercolour with simple good quality equipment try out these aquafine paints aquafine brushes the aquafine paper too it's a really good kit so hopefully that helps to give you an introduction into the equipment that you're going to need to get started with watercolor next time i'm going to show you how to understand watercolor because it's a quirky medium it's great fun to use but it needs a little bit of understanding and i'm going to show you uh, a few ideas that will help you with that so have a go, get some kit. I'll see you next time.